From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday stop stars. That much anticipated Shantytown judicial review is now underway in the Supreme Court. Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson is hearing the case virtually. 177 Shantytown residents, represented by Queens Council lawyer Fred Smith, questioning the government's decision to demolish Shantytown homes. Smith has described the move as dictatorial and an attempt to eliminate Haitian Bahamian communities in the country. The government's lawyer told the court that the government's action is not driven by ethnic cleansing in any way. It's simply upholding the laws regarding unregulated communities. That review continues. In the coroner's court, inquests are now underway into persons reported as missing during Hurricane Dorian. About 35 persons still on that list. It's expected to take about two weeks for the court to get through those. I don't foresee any more measures in regards to the health protocols and what we have in place. That's Health Minister Wells before heading into the cabinet meeting yesterday. The minister admitting there's been a recent increase in cases, but he says there's a reason for that. That might be due to a particular event because, you know, this this virus has a 14-day incubation cycle. So if you have a bunch of persons who get together in a particular locale and someone is positive and they would have spread it to these other individuals, you could expect that everyone exposed would end up showing a positive. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. By the numbers, 45 new confirmed cases reported for Monday, 30 of them in the capital, 7 in Grand Bahama, Katki and Bimini, Abaco and Luther also reported cases, 42 persons in hospital being treated, and that continues to be a concern. Meantime, an announcement from the vaccine committee, it's pausing New Providence vaccinations as of Friday. Concerns about supplies for the second shot among the factors. Police holding a suspect in connection with the latest murder, the stabbing death of a man during an argument on Key West Street here in the capital on Monday afternoon. 33 murders reported for the year now. Gas prices in the capital now over $5 per gallon. Rubis gets a 19 cent increase, jumping to 504 per gallon. Esso gets a 3 cent increase, goes up to 488. Shell is at 486 for now. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs from the low to mid-80s, 80 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisory winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. The next tide is a high around 11 this morning, next low about 4 this afternoon. Clear skies in the area tonight, lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines another night of protests in the U.S. city of Minneapolis in the wake of that police shooting of a black man. The protests so far have been peaceful, but a number of persons have been arrested over curfew violations. The police chief and the officer involved have both resigned. Increasing concern in India after a record number of coronavirus cases were reported for a single day, more than a hundred thousand. France has major issues with more than 5,000 persons in intensive care. The U.S. has halted the use of the Johnson vaccine after six women developed blood clots days after taking the vaccine. More than six million doses have been administered. Health officials expect this to be temporary. Tribune's gas tracker prices middle of the week shell 486, SO now 488, Rubus $5.05 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Read about Jazz Chisholm and other Major League Baseball rookies adapting to having fans in the stands. Again, Cycling Association back in gear. Find out what the plans are. There is the Major League Baseball and NBA updates in the Tribune Sports. The Suns win again in the NBA. They beat Miami last night. 10 of 11 for them. They're 39 and 15 on the season. Headed for the playoffs. Aiden had 19 points on 13 rebounds in that game. And there's a soccer update in the Tribune Sports also from Europe. For all of your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.